For many of you, 2024 has already been wasted. For many of you, you have pretty much destroyed your one shot of becoming rich and successful with the power of wholesaling real estate. For many of you, you are losing grasp at your dream and what you need to be doing. And what I want to do today is really share the biggest problem I see with most beginners coming out here uh, that need some help. They're wasting 2024 and they desperately need this message. Heck, for the people that are trying to scale out their operations and wholesaling real estate and actually become successful, they're also wasting their opportunity. I see so many people who want to become successful. I see so many wholesalers that want the cash, they, they want the cool stuff, but they're just a little off on this and they want to get to that next point. And what I want to do today is talk about this, what many people are missing out and what you need to start doing. I truly believe most wholesalers if they can just tweak what they're doing by just one to 2%, a lot of stuff in their business and their life can change so much. And what, what I need everyone to understand is you have to stop wasting time. And so you got to make the decision right now today, you know, are you going to keep wasting time or start making money now? Are you going to keep talking about this or start doing this? What are you going to start doing? What is the decision you are going to make to become successful right now? As somebody who does a lot of wholesaling real estate deals and that teaches hundreds of thousands of people to get into this business and to do better in this business, a lot of you guys out here are doing the wrong things. And you might hear my message, but you're not fundamentally understanding what I'm asking you to do. And it might seem like the same hoorah, oh, go work hard and grind, grind, grind. But th that isn't my message. My, my message is not for you to go grind, 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 grind helplessly, wandrously on the oceans uh, and hoping and, and manifesting something will happen. That is never what I'm asking you to do. And that's never what I'm telling you to do. And you really have to understand the difference here. And so what we have in front of us in 2024, because people love by the beginning of the year, the end of the year, like that's what they like looking at, right? They don't like looking at what's going on here or there or all this stupid little stuff, right? They, they, they care about like, oh, it's the start of the year. We can make a change, right? So sure, sure, let's make the change now. We have this opportunity in front of us, 2024. It could be the greatest year of our life, the worst year of our life, right? Depending on what we want to do, right? But the opportunity, my friends here, is in front of us. First wholesaling deal, some of us, that fifth wholesaling deal or 10th deal. If we can start an upward spiral right now, we can get to that point. But most of men who are watching this and most women, they decide to themselves beforehand that they're going to go all in and go all out. And once it starts getting uncomfortable, they get out of the kitchen because the it's too hot. When, and the truth is, like Muhammad Ali once said, you don't start counting setups until they hurt. And that's the way you should be looking at wholesaling real estate. When I, when I talk about how much grind you're putting in this business and, and how much mental toughness you get, the, 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 the grinding hours don't start until it's painful. Just like setups with Muhammad Ali, why he was so great. It wasn't, you know, he, he was probably one of the most skillful fighters out there, but his mental toughness was on a, another level that no one's really ever seen. Uh, there's some very few ones that um, have surpassed him, but what I can tell you is not many. And in his generation, it, unheard of, right? Because he only counted those sit-ups when they started to hurt because it showed how tough of a man he was. And the thing is, y'all wholesaling got to start doing that. You don't count your, your, your work or your grinding until you don't want to do it anymore. It gets uncomfortable. It gets painful mentally. Oh my gosh, the third hour of cold calling. Oh, now you're in pain? This is when that grind, that, that, that grind, that hustle starts happening. But the problem is most of you guys out here are, are not focusing on this. You are not going out here and counting when it hurts. You're counting right from the get-go and feeling that you worked hard and you're not getting anywhere because you have other people around you. You got 17, 18, 19 year olds. I always say this coming from TikTok, living in their mom's basement that want to make hundred K by the end of the year. They're willing to work harder than you because they want to get out of their, their, their basement, their mom's basement and get the cool whip to impress girls more than you want to feed your daughter or, or your son. That should be utterly embarrassing for you right now. Now, I have to say you have a bigger why than the 19 year old looking to flex on the gram. But like I've always said, and like I've been telling a lot of people lately, it's not about how bad you need the money. It's how bad you are going to work for it. And the reason why I, when I started out, I whooped people's butts that had sons and daughters and wives to feed. And I just wanted to, you know, get a quick 20 K because I didn't want to be a bag boy anymore. Because the pain of going back to my bag boy job was so great. I was willing to do whatever it took to not be in that position anymore. I was sick of it. Not scrubbing dookie off of toilets, embarrassing, 
all these things, not good. You know, it's, it, it's not fun out here, you know, to uh, be in high school and, you know, the, 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 the girls you're, you're, you're looking into uh, and you're, you're bagging the groceries like some, uh, a little stock boy. Uh, and they're like, that, that's impressive, right? It's you're sweaty and you're cleaning dookie out and you're, you're, you're scrubbing things. And I, I did a lot of embarrassing stuff there. And, you know, I, I had, I had grown 32 year old men screaming at me, making $19 an hour telling me to get more carts. That was my life. I, I, it was so bad. And because of that, I've decided to myself that I will never, ever be that type of person. I am not a minimum wage employee. That is not who Zach Ginn is. Zach Ginn's a millionaire in the making when I was, you know, 18 years old, 17 years old. But the, the fear and pain of being broke was so much greater than my fear of cold calling. Some of you guys are so cushioning your nine to five jobs that you can kind of take care, kind of get by with your son and daughter and wife that the fear of cold calling is just, it's greater than the fear of staying where you're at. And the problem is a lot of you guys out here are competing with 17, 18, 19 year olds that never want to be in that nine to five system. And they are willing to work hard. Now I make fun of my generation a lot and rightfully so. I mean, look, look at some of these dancing TikTok people and uh, you'll understand. But the cool part about my generation is they are the laziest and toughest generation of all time all in the same. The people I know that are my age right now, most of them are lazy little bumps and they'll change, but it's true. But the 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 top 1% of people in my generation are probably the one of the most intense I've ever seen. I, I argue with anyone on this, right? I, I've known a lot of 23, 24 year olds making tens of millions of dollars. Um, and every generation has those, but like the people that grind in my generation, they grind. And the problem is if you're growing up against those people, you got to work hard too. And the, the problem is people in my generation have seen their dads and their grandparents and their, and their generational curse of that nine to five job. And they are so sick of it that they, they have trauma throughout their life of, of dealing with that nine to five that they don't want to deal with anymore. And so what I want you to understand here is you have to outwork these people. You have to get rich. You have to compete with these stinking people. Now you can make money with them. I, I teach you how to do that, but you, you have to start now because in three, four, five years, when the wholesaling real estate industry probably grows by two to three X, and I'll tell you that. I mean, good. I'll have more subscribers. Good for me. Um, not clout chasing here or anything, because I don't. I mean, I got nothing to sell you. More JV deals, fine, great. You, you'd rather be in a position where you're already making two, three, four, or five hundred thousand dollars a year, and you can work with these new wholesalers from TikTok coming in that are 13 years old now. They're going to be 17, 18, 19 years old uh, in the future. You'd be in a financial position where you have the buyers, you're at the cash, you're at the systems where you can use those people to make money. Kind of like what I'm doing right now when I'm, I'm using these 18 year olds that are coming in now and I'm doing deals with them and I'm making a ton of money. They're making a ton of money. That's great. You can be in the position in three to four years where you can do the same exact thing I'm doing now, where I'm making millions of dollars on JV deals and I'm able to work with those people. Here's the main issue. To start with that, you have to first have a successful wholesaling operation. And the number one thing to do is start an upward spiral. And I cannot stress this enough. The upward spiral is so important. And one of the biggest keys to your success. An upward spiral always starts with the first domino or the first thing, right? And life happens in momentum. Everything in life is uh, kind of can be in a momentum, if you will, where when you start doing positive things, just things spiral out of control in a good way or a bad thing. Momentum doesn't care if the ball is going right or left. Wherever the, the, the force is going, it's going to keep in motion that way, right? And so if the ball is going in a bad direction, you're going to it's going to take a insanely tougher force to get out of that position and then bring it to the other side. And that's the same thing. And so positive for your wholesaling real estate business is an upward spiral where you start up an upward trajectory and the ball can start rolling in your direction for better things. What I mean by that is let's say, for example, you know, you're overweight or something and you decide to start eating healthier. Your blood pressure is going to start going down and all these, and it just, you're going to feel better and all these better things happen to yourself, right? Because you started to make one change and you consistently did that change. Same thing with the wholesaling operation, right? If you decide you want to start marketing more, dedicating five, six, seven, eight hours a week into income producing activities in wholesaling, and you just keep going and going to freewholesaling.com and, and learning and going and going and going and learning and learning and learning and, and making more money and getting more rich and all these great things, you'll start seeing a trend where you start making 10, 20, $30,000 per month. You're like, wow, I'm making a ton of money. Great things are happening for me, right? But the issue here is if, if you are not deciding to make that change right now, you won't get rich. You will not make that change. This is something that is super important for you and something important that for you to get rich wholesaling house. And so we have to start that upward spiral right now. A lot of you guys are not seizing this opportunity. Many people are wasting it. Some of you guys are seizing it and many of you guys are not. And 
I cannot be that cheerleader in your corner, right? I'm not the whole, I'm not your, your mama's guru. Okay. I'm not going to take eight grand from you and then cheerlead from you. Yeah, you go buddy. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll call it the, uh, the, the, the skull method. I, my, you know, I got a skull method for my course. Skulls, skulls, skulls. Let's go skulls. And you know, eight grand. Give me more money. Yeah. 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 Got my mastermind at my, at my office. Okay. I'm not doing that. Right. I, I can't mention these. Um, so, uh, I guess I can call it the, I don't know, you can call it the, the sale, uh, the Marlin method or whatever. But like, I, I, you know, gurus like putting animals and names and stuff and, you know, whatever. But what, what, what I'm talking about here is I'm not going to be your guru. I, I do not have a sales team who I give a 40% commission to and I don't run $1,000 a day of YouTube ads to try to take you money from you. If you see a YouTube ad with someone talking about wholesaling, they're trying to extract money from you. Not JV deals because, I mean, that's partnering with money. Tell you, extracting money from your credit card into my pocket. When you see a YouTube ad, that is the sole intention is to extract credit card into your credit card information into my wallet. That is what a YouTube ads are for, Instagram ads. So start thinking about that. I don't do that. I'm not your cheerleader. I I, I will help you out. I, I can be your guide. I can be a, you know, I don't want to use the word mentor, um, but like I, I, I can be the person that gets you the kickstarting for this, right? You will find this and, you know, every guru is going to fight me on this, but 90% of your learning and wholesaling real estate is going to be through experience, actually doing it and experience. 10% is me just showing the rules of the game and, and roughly what you got to do and what you shouldn't be doing, right? That's it. You know, the, the, your, your basketball coach is only going to help you 10% of your game. It's going to be you practicing and you actually putting the effort with his guidance and, and plays that that's going to make you actually successful, right? Uh, film, uh, sorry, um, the Chicago Bulls head coach, right? Uh, he wasn't the reason, you know, Phil, ja I think it's Phil Jackson, right? Phil Jackson wasn't the reason for Michael Jordan's success. He was a big proponent of helping him, but I would say he's five, 10% of the, the equation. You know, Michael Jordan's pretty much the other, other side, right? Uh, probably less for Kobe Bryant, right? But the truth is that the coach can bring you a lot of, he can bring you the right teammates and everything, but it's up to you to whip everyone up into shape and do it yourself, right? And that's the dang truth that a lot of you guys don't understand. A lot of you guys are seizing the opportunity, but so many of you guys are wasting it. And what I'm talking is you've already wasted 2024. If you've already started with a, I'm a loser mindset, the world is terrible. The, oh, just t today's not my day or today was a tough day or that. You're alive. You're not dead. You know how many people woke up today that died? You know how, a lot, okay? Uh, more than they should. And so you talking about how today was a, tough day for you or a rough day and you're still alive, shame on you. And I, I'm just being honest. There's people, there's very select few people that have very bad days today. But for the vast majority of you, if you're alive today and your family's fine, you have nothing to complain about. And it should be a day where you've gotten closer to your dreams because this is what you want your family deserves and all these things. And so I feel like so many people, and I'm talking to my generation right now, because a lot of you guys are, have these social media saying that, oh, it's, it's a tough day today. Oh, it's very difficult. Just get by today. You know, you're doing great. No, you're not doing good. You're broke. You're in your mom's basement right now. Make a change. This is not who you're meant to be. You got your last name on your back, everything you do. What are you willing to do to become the man or woman that you know your family deserves? You are your family's last shot. You are your family's last hope here. You're the only person who can have the ability to make the change that actually is having the information in front of you to get rich in wholesaling. I can tell you what to do. You got to get it. You got to get that fire within you to start doing it. I didn't, I didn't need no dang YouTuber to pump me up uh, for me to put bandit signs out at 5 a.m. in the morning. I, I didn't need that. I had, I had that way enough. Think about scrubbing Dookie from a toilet, having this little name tag on me, okay? Once I had this little stupid little name tag on me, let's see if the, this is, I got to show, I gotta show this all the time, but... I have this video right here, right? Show this a lot. This is my name tag at my uh, grocery store job, right? And this was the thing I used to stare at when I was cold calling. I was hour four and I did not want to be cold calling anymore. And once I had a little look-see at this thing, okay? I was like, oh, I remember working. I, I used to work nine hours doing this thing. And I'm on hour four and I'm complaining and I'm making 15, 20 grand a month. <sighs> you kidding me? You kidding me? And this thing to this day, whenever I feel like a sorry a little wimp, for like a couple seconds. I gotta just look back at this thing and say, you know what? This is not you're meant to be. And I keep this thing right here, right here. And whenever I feel like I need a little boost in the morning or whatever, I, I gotta look at that thing. Walk out here, look at that end. I'm good to go for the day because there was once a time where I was minimum wage not doing this. Uh, I was doing this stuff. And I, I would have died for the opportunity to be at where I'm at right now or where I was two, three years ago. And so you guys have to seize this opportunity because this opportunity is not gonna come anytime soon. Either you decide because tomorrow's never promised. And 
Yesterday was the past. We only have the present. And you guys know, why is the present called the present? Because it is a present. It is a gift. And either we take the moment we have now and make do with it and use it to actually become better, or we feel sorry of ourselves and we waste it. A lot of guys are wasting 2024. And it pains me to know. There's no guarantee you'll be here in a year. There's no guarantee you'll be here in, in a day. The only thing right now, okay, that is guaranteed is now. And this is why now is the reason you have to start. This is the reason why now is the time to become successful. This is the reason now why I'm begging you to make the change for you. And if not you, your family. Family is everything to me. And if you have decided that you are sick of where your family's at right now, make the change. If not you, do it for your mom. Your mom probably gave everything for you to become successful or to have the opportunity to become successful. Now you gotta prove her right. Uh, we're nowhere without our moms. Uh, I know some people have very bad moms. I think most of us have great moms, uh, but it's up to you to decide what you wanna do. I, I truly believe most people have the potential for success. I think everyone watching this has it now, but it is potential until it is realized. So what do you, are you gonna realize your potential or let somebody else realize their own potential? There are hundreds of millions of dollars in assignment fees probably in your market right now. What are you going to do? Are you gonna seize a little bit of that gold? Well, let someone else, let the little 17 year old do his little TikTok dance at the title company uh, when he's collecting his $40,000 check this month. Or are you going to seize the opportunity and get rich from it? It's up to you. But it's, it's. I, I was, I, 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 I post on TikTok and people just tag me in videos. That's the funniest thing in the world. I, I, I legit get these cringy TikTok dances with forty thousand dollar wholesaling checks. I'm like, I'm like, and you let this kid make forty grand? And yeah, it, it's cringy, but like, he did the work, so let him do it. But like, y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, but it drives me crazy. So if you don't start with your positive momentum, you can't start your snowball. Momentum, snowballing, it's all the same thing. If you start a small snowball down a very big hill, it will turn into a big snowball. These snowballs don't happen instantaneously, but these are snowballs once you see over four or five years, it gets insane. And so my snowball started first year wholesaling, making 100K before I graduated high school, and then about a quarter million. And I think, I gotta look at the numbers. Uh, at least 700 and then seven figures, and then double, then double, then double. And then a lot more multiples of double after that with uh, JVs and social media and all these things. And my, my snowball's like this compared to where I'm gonna be when I'm 40, 50, 60, 70 years old at 24 right now, right? But to look at where I'm at now to where I started, it's insane. But I could have never been to this point unless I started there. And the thing is every day you don't see the change. You get your big checks here and there, right? Um, some of my big real biggest realization moments is when I made my first hundred thousand dollar assignment fee. That's when I knew, wow, I'm at the, I'm at the, at the precipice of something huge. And then I think after I did my first hundred K deal, I did another one. And then the next January, I think January, 2021, I believe I did four or five hundred thousand dollar deals in January. That's when I knew I cracked the hundred K barrier for doing wholesaling assignment field fee deal deals. And I think 80% of our probates to FYI. And I show that it's on the YouTube channel. I was, I was literally going crazy. I had this super crazy long hair, just closing sellers. It was a good time. It was a really fun, funny, funny time. It was a weird time in wholesaling real estate where just things went nuts. Um, and I, 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 I'm not at the point where I've not done $500,000 deals in January uh, so far. Um, that was a weird month. Um, but I'll tell you is sometimes gifts just come to you and you got to take them. But at that point I knew if I started, I took all that money, more virtual operations did a lot better. But what I could tell you is the snowball starts and you see, you see points of where it goes nuts, but you also see points where you, you don't feel like you're, you're, the snowball's growing anymore. And if you just close your eyes and wait a year, you'll notice the snowball is the big difference. And you just got to start that snowball right now. And if you start right now with positive momentum, I promise you, Positive momentum with an upward spiral, it doesn't go smaller. It only goes larger if you're doing the right thing. So start doing this. And some, some small things that I can tell you and, and so many people out to watching this is utilize your golden hours. I think if we want to start that snowball to start it rolling, right? Utilize the golden hours. What I'll tell you is 5 to 7 p.m. is a goal, is the golden opportunity for so many of you guys that you're just wasting time. I think a lot of you guys out here, you work out from 5 to 7. And I, I, I love working out, right? I love to get jacked. Um, but I'll tell you, you should not be working out from 5 to 7 p.m. You should not be going to ballet class from 5 to 7 or boys night at 5 to 7. 5 to 7, Monday through Friday, is your golden hours. These are the hours where people are off of work. They're in car line picking up the kids. They, they are just at home relaxing. 
where these people are at home right now, away from the distractions of a job, where you can get in front of them and help them out. These people are opening up mail on their foreclosure letters during this time. Your motivated seller is wondering what to do with their stinking house. This is the golden opportunity hours for your success. And the killer of this one is these are times where you're probably off of work. Think about that. Your seller's off of work and you're off of work. And I don't think a lot of people are understanding how important these hours were. These were the greatest cold calling hours I've had, the, the best pickup rates, the best contact rates, the, the amount of appointments that I set during this time were greater than anything else. This is your Black Friday every single day of time to market. Spend other time doing lists and all these skip tracing up, fine, right? And one big reason, you know, I used to do live streams from 5 to 6.30, 5 to 7 p.m. And I decided, I'm like, you know what? I don't care if I get less people watching me. Like, I could care less. I'm going to start doing videos at 1 o'clock Eastern. And the reason why I changed it was I don't believe people should be watching me on live streams from 5 to 7 p.m. This should be a time. And Rick still does Mondays at 5, right? I think that's a, it's a good mix, right? Um, but that's because that's 2 o'clock on the West Coast, you know? Um, but overall, we stopped most live streams at 5 because... I truly believe most people should be on their phones at five, trying to talk to sellers. Heck, even dealing with real estate agents and other things. You got to utilize your golden hours because you, you don't know exactly how much time you got. You could double your efficiency during these hours. And I, I don't think a lot of people understand this, but I think a lot of people understand this is a perfect time for you and probably the time where you can get the most people talking to you. And so if you're creating your kind of your list or your your schedule for success, right? The best times is going to always be five to 7 p.m. You got to start doing that right now if you want to achieve success. Utilize your golden hours. If you don't, someone else is, you're, they're watching this video and they'll start getting rich from this. But you have to utilize it to become successful. You guys, you know what you should be doing. I, I would say most people watching this, they already know what they should be doing. They know that they need to be utilizing their golden hours. They know they need to be pulling government lists. They know they need to be cold calling, texting, and all the above what I say on my marketing, right? They know they need to be doing these things, but they're not. You know why? Because most people know what they should be doing in life. They, 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 they know they should not, they, they know they should not eat donuts. They know they should eat broccoli. They, they, they know sh they should not be watching hours of Netflix every day. Most people know what they should be doing, right? But they, they know it, but just, they don't, they don't really care. Right. And this is a cognitive bias. Most human beings always tend, if you ever read any psychology book to go to the most comforting thing. And the most comforting thing for most people is sitting on and relaxing and not hunting and, you know, doing the difficult things, uh, you know, used to do with cave men and women, but we have to fight that urge because I've always said this, but we have become very soft as people, uh, lately, you know, we, we, we've, we've had our ancestors who used to fight saber tooth tigers daily to be alive. Uh, people fighting in wars daily. They're insane people farming 12, 13, 14 hours a day, and then resting at the end of that. Right backbreaking work. And now we kind of have these cushy jobs and air conditioning and, and heat and, and all these things. And we we're kind of used to, we've kind of our meter of what's tough has kind of gone lower and lower and lower. When I, when it comes to you sitting down for an hour to cold call, it's the most terrifying thing in the world. And it's really sad. People used to work in factories for 15 hours a day, six days a week. And they felt like, oh my gosh, I, I, I'm taking Labor Day off. This is insane. And, and you're going out here complaining that you had to work four hours today, cold calling. Oh no. And it just people are coming softer and softer. And the barrier, and I, 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 this is very controversial in wholesaling, but the, the bar to become successful in wholesaling has just gotten lower and lower every year. Now there's more wholesalers, but if you're just willing to do what most people aren't willing to do, you'll get there. And this is an Inky Johnson quote. I've used this since 2018, uh, 2019 when I started YouTube, right? But to do what others won't. No, to get results that others don't, you have to do what others won't. Let me repeat myself. To get results that others don't, you have to do what others won't. Shout out to Inky Johnson. What he basically said there um, was, if you want to get results that other people just won't get, you have to do what they won't do. And instantly when I heard that, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to cold call five hours a day because most people cold call two hours a day. And I just did what they weren't willing to do. And I got insane results. Okay, roger that. No one's willing to put a hundred bandit signs out over the weekend. I'll do that. <laughs> you know, I, when Lead Sherpa came out, uh, where I don't think they don't take wholesalers anymore. They might now. I don't, they got betas and stuff. Uh, they used to have a thing for unlimited skip tracing, uh, not unlimited, unlimited texting. And I was like, well, I'm just going to sit here all day and just click, 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 click and send five, six, 
thousand texts a day. And I used to use thousand, two thousand texts. Like I was, it was, an, it was unlimited text. I just go boop, 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 all day. It's like most people aren't willing to click that all day. You know, I was putting, I think I had Drake and Future that the, um, what, what a time to be alive, that album. I had that album on and all I was doing is just click, 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 click. And you know, most people drive for dollars three hours a day. I do four hours. A day. Like I, I just did what other people weren't willing to do. And you know what you should be doing. Okay. But the thing is the barrier to entry to become a successful wholesaler has never been lower. If you are just willing to do what most people aren't, you'll do well. But most people are inclined to just do what needs to be done. But to do what needs to be done and then more, that's really when the separation between average to exceptional starts happening. And you just over like a, a, a two months, you, you, it's not a crazy gap. It's like this gap. And then over four months, it's like this. Six months, it's like this. And then over time, the gap between your income and the average income just gets wider. And kind of like me, you see where the point I'm at now, just the gap keeps widening. And the gap of how much money I make and these broke gurus are making, it just it keeps widening. And <laughs> the, the truth is because it's just, I'm willing to do more work in wholesaling and have my people work harder and me using the right strategies for success for wholesaling real estate. But most of you guys know what you should be doing, but you're not doing it. That is the thing that is sad to me. You just my, my main question and the question I begged everyone watching this is just why aren't you doing it? I, I legit want to know because if, if a guy making eight twenty five an hour bag boy type thing here, you know, I, you know, I didn't have a bad life. You know, I could have been a lawyer. You know, I, 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 I did a full ride scholarship uh, to a university, right? Like I, I did all, I mean, graduated in 18 months. I went to one semester and I came back home and I was able to just do all my exams online. They, they thought I was in person still. And I just did that. Like I, I had all the opportunities in the world, right? But like, I just, I, I didn't like, I didn't need to get rich, right? Like it was a necessity. It could have been a nice middle-class light. Like I didn't need any of this stuff, right? But like I wanted it so bad. And it wasn't a, you know, I, I truly believe most people want it because of the materialistic things. They want the sick Lambo, the whip, the boat, the watch, the, the sick pad, the, the mansion, whatever it is, right? They, they want that stuff. But like, do they need it, right? And the thing was, I needed to get rich. I, I needed to not work that nine to five job. I needed to have a life where my soul wasn't sucked from a boss who's telling me what to do every day. And maybe it's always been wired that I didn't like what, when people tell me what to do. I think that that comes from, and that's why my hatred of gurus comes so so high because gurus always tell me you can't give out a free course. Oh, you can't teach wholesaling for free. Oh, you're too young to tell people how to get rich, even though you make millions of dollars. When gurus always tell me I couldn't do something, I was like, oh, Roger that. I'll do it better than you, and I'll go even harder on the paint. And <laughs> it's always funny, but I'm I'm richer than all my gurus now which is great uh, in the whole thing space. And so, but the question is, why aren't you doing it? Like I had my reason. It wasn't an insane reason either. I just didn't want to work that nine to five anymore. And I was just like, well, I'm going to put everything I can into this thing and see what happens. But why aren't you doing it? Like, you know what you're doing. Why aren't you? And I, I think for most people, their, their excuses are very sorry. There's a, a very, very few set of circumstances where, where I don't see why you can't be successful, right? I, I, I get people all the time and I'll go, I'll go tat for tat on anyone with excuses. And, you know, I, I've always been very lucky, but I love bringing out examples of other people. Oh, Zach, I'm colorblind. Well, let me go find a colorblind guy that made 200K this year, whole sling houses. Oh, Zach, I look like this. Okay, well, let me find something that looks like you that makes millions of dollars wholesaling. Oh, oh I have an accent. Which accent? Egyptian. Great. Let me find an Egyptian guy making more money than anyone else. Like, I can go on and on. Okay. I'm sorry. Arabic accent right, for, from Egypt, right? But the truth is like, whatever excuse you want to give to me, oh, I'm a single mom of three. Okay. I'm like finding a single mom of three and I'll, let me show you, they're making half a million dollars, right? Whatever excuse you want to throw at me, you can throw it. And maybe I, I was at a more privileged opportunity than you, but I can always find someone with a better opportunity than that had something worse off than you that became more successful. There's always somebody who had a worse off situation than you that became successful. And the truth is we, we, we got people from from the, the the poorest parts of Northern Africa, right? So I got people in South Africa making millions of dollars, right? Central South America, Europe, Asia, everywhere becoming successful wholesaling with every terrible situation you would think of. But like, wh what's your excuse? Why aren't you becoming rich? It's a question that bothers me because there's always somebody worse off that became more successful. And the mental barrier of your excuse of why you're not rich drives me crazy. I don't understand this. If you want to get rich, do the work. And it drives me crazy. But I, I get a lot of people, you know, they, they, they love talking their smack. They love doing their thing. You know, I can go in the comments and see these guys say, oh, easy for you. Oh, it must be nice for you. 
And then, you know, it drives me crazy. It drives me nuts. And so, you know, I, I get a guy like Jordan, you know, shout out to Jordan. He doesn't give me his last name, but he never gives me that. He give me his face. Is this training or an ego trip, my guy? Jordan, until you're at the point where you have helped people make millions of dollars, until you're at the point where you have helped hundreds of thousands of people, until you're at the point where you have personally made millions of dollars wholesaling real estate, the ego is never the thing. The only thing I'll ever put my ego in is flexing on a broke wholesaling guru who tries to take credit cards from single moms and home equity lines of credit out of their houses. The truth is if you want to make $100,000 this year wholesaling houses, Jordan, all right, what are your options? I legitimately want to ask you, what are your options? You want to make 100K this year and you have no money. Every guru wants to charge you four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000. They want you to go into debt. They want to take you equity line of credit on your home. Some of them have 12% interest rate loans on their thing and put you into debt. And then you got me who has taught hundreds of thousands of people how to do it. And the, really at this point, you want to know why I have to tell people why I've helped hundreds of thousands of people and I have to show all these testimonials? It's because Everyone outside of me and Rick tries at the bare minimum for you to even learn the basics to take money from you. And so if you keep getting scammed from people and you want to listen to me and you're going to expect a scam, I have to show you that I'm not a scam and show people saying that I'm not a scam. But here's the problem, Jordan. If I don't get an ego, hop on the one-on-one. -on -one. Let's, let's, let's do this too. Jordan, if I got your face on here, which is great. I want to have a, actually, let's have a legit nice conversation, Jordan. All right. I want to know. Show me how much money you've made this year wholesaling house. Here's a streamer link for you, Jordan, if you want to be a man. I highly doubt Jordan would be a man and hop on and talk to me. But Jordan has all the opportunity to show me what he means by that statement. But the truth is he won't. Here's a streamer link. Jordan, if you want to man up, do it. If you're not, you can hide behind this. Let's have a legit conversation of what I'm trying to accomplish and what you mean by what you just said. Because the truth is I don't go on here and teach you wholesaling real estate for free just for me to, to sit on my butt and, and, and stroke my own ego. Yes. It does help me a lot to go out here and help you out. It does help me out a lot to do more JV deals and become one of the top wholesalers of all time. But for the kid out here, let's use an example. The kid out here in Algeria, right? There's one kid in Algeria I know that helped make $50,000. He made his mom, dad, and I think uncle's salary. I think the average salary is 12 grand in one wholesaling deal. And he was able to change his life forever in Algeria. He had no money. He couldn't, he couldn't spend five grand for a guru. And only because of the free content that I gave that I helped him out. The only way he knew that I was free was I mentioned it and I showed what I did. I showed my story and I showed exactly how you can get to that point. And I've helped more people than anyone else in the entire world at this point. So I can pop up my receipts, Jordan. Jordan, be a man and hop on the stream yard. If you're not, we'll show your face and show that you're a coward. It's up to you, buddy. Man up or shut up. Man up or shut up. That's the truth. Whenever I'm invited to a fight, I don't start it, but I'll finish it. But respectfully, man. I have a streamer link. I have a point where we can talk man to man here. It can be man to coward if you want. It's ultimately up to you. But whenever I get someone talk smack to me on the internet, number one, they never make more money than me. They're more broke than me. And most likely they're, they're a guru. Now, Jordan, let's see what you got. I'll, get, I'll give Jordan 15 seconds here. Let's pop up the streamer link. Will Jordan be a man or Jordan be a little baby coward? Let's give him 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You're going to run, Jordan. We got your face on here. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, Jordan. That's great. All right. We'll end that there. And so, you know, if you want to talk smack to me, talk to me in my face. I'd love to hear someone say something bad to me in my face. That's it. Pull up or shut up. That's it. You know, I, I, I'm here. I'm here to talk to anyone. If you don't believe my message, go after it. But the truth of what I say today and what I've always said is to be a man, be the man of your word. If you want to talk smack, back it up. When I say that I want to help you become rich and successful and flex on a guru, I back that stuff up. When I ever, I get attacked on anything that anyone says on me. Hop up, pull up or shut up. And if anyone has a problem with me, you can talk to me in person. Y'all know where I'm at, where I'm at. I can talk to anyone. But if you're going to say anything to me, you got to say it to my face, man. Most people think I'm a little, you know, five, two small guy. I can bring the heat. But the problem is I back everything I say because that's my reputation. That is what I do. This is what I do on a daily basis. This is my passion is to help you get rich wholesaling because this is the same business that made me millions of dollars. I can delete all my YouTube channels and go ghost on social media for the rest of my life. I got enough income from my rental properties where I don't have to worry about these stupid little comments on the internet. I can do whatever I want, whenever I want, wherever I want. But the thing is why I continue to be able here is I want to push the pace of my wholesaling income. I want to push the pace on the amount of people I help out and create an indentable legacy for wholesaling real estate that has never been done ever. Because no one else has the balls to teach wholesaling real estate for free without charging a dime because they all do it for money. They never do it to help or to actually make a change in the world. That is it.
I back up my words, I back up my actions, and I back up what I do because I'm a man of when I say something, I mean it. And so when I ask anyone respectfully, if you want to tarnish what I do, tarnish what what I want to give back to the wholesaling real estate game that helped me. I want you to back up your words. I can always back up my words with facts, respect, and proof. That's it. So Jordan, we got your face on here. You got caught in 4K. That's okay. Doesn't look good though to be embarrassed like that, man. I've had three men talk to me like this. And the, the two that did talk to me, one in person, end up apologizing. Put my reputation on the line of this stuff, guys. and care less. So we don't see Jordan on here. So uh, sorry, Jordan. Appreciate it, man. Uh... Bye, bye, bye. I mean, that's all I can say here. So let's keep talking. But I love a little talk, you know? Love a little, lo, lo, like a little controversy on here, you know? But the thing is, you can call me a weirdo. You say whatever you want about me. But if if, if a weirdo makes millions of dollars wholesaling real estate and helps a lot of people on here, that's all you can do. All I want to say. That's it, man. And so let's talk about this. Let's keep it going. Let's break this all down. And the only thing I want to mention with the way I run my wholesaling operation is I don't wake up and go to an office every day like these wholesaling gurus. All right. I got the team virtual. I got my systems and operations in place. And when I go to my properties, I go to them. I don't need to prove anything to anyone. I I don't want to wake up and go to an office every day. Most wholesaling gurus, they wake up at 9 a.m. from an alarm clock. They show up to their their job. Sorry, their uh, their, their YouTube studio. And they work on how to extract money. They start recording YouTube ads for the day. They start spending money on Facebook ads and Instagram ads on YouTube ads, trying to take money from you. They have, they talk to their video editors. They, they, they talk to their social media managers. They, they talk to their um, social media um, marketing managers too, on top of that. And they, they speak to their uh, collaborative partners and they speak about all these things and then they go to their sales team, which is not a whole thing sales team. It's a coaching sales team teaching about how many leads we got in. You, the viewer, are the leads. Think about that. And that's how they run most of their day. And the truth is what I'm trying to do is stop this terrible trash in the wholesaling industry and change it where the wholesaling information is free, is given out to everyone, and everyone has the opportunity keys to become successful. The one thing I hate more in this world is discrimination based off stupid stuff. Now, we all know basic discrimination, but what's discrimination in wholesaling real estate? Discrimination in wholesaling real estate is if you don't have money, then I don't want you to become rich and successful. That is the one part of discrimination which I don't believe at all. Wholesaling real estate only discriminates on one thing, work, ethic, the effort you put in. It isn't, wholesaling real estate doesn't matter what college degree you have. Wholesaling real estate doesn't care if you have a high school diploma. Wholesaling real estate doesn't care about how tall you are, what you look like, or what you sound like. The only thing wholesaling real estate cares about is how much work and effort you put in this business. If you want to become a real tour, you have to become at least a GED. You can't have any bad past or be fixed from a bad past. What I mean by that is if you have a felony, you cannot be in this exclusive club. Now, most if you commit a crime, I would say most crimes are bad. There's people that commit felonies that are heinous, terrible, and unforgivable. But there are many people that commit felonies that have changed their lives over the past decade and are functioning great people in society. They've done bad. They've made changes. That is the human condition. And to discriminate based off of that is a sad thing in this world, I would say. Now, what I could tell you is that the last glimmer of hope I say in getting rich quick and, and successful with, with war, hard work ethic is wholesaling real estate. And the problem is this, this industry is discriminating based off the money you have to give up. And this doesn't help young people at all. And this is what the thing I'm trying to change. That is my life's work here. This is what I'm looking to do. And if I can get a bunch of JV deals in the process, I'm all for it. But what, what I could tell you is, if that makes me weird, let's get rich. Let's get it, Jordan. You got the link. Hop on. I want to talk to you. <laughs> but you have to decide fast today. Like, is this going to be my year or is this just going to be another year I'm coasting by? What are you going to decide to do? Get rich or stay broke? I'm sick of this. Are you going to be a Jordan or are you going to be a successful wholesaler? Which one are you going to be? The broke people troll. The broke people hate. The broke people stay where they're at. The broke people stay in their mom's mama's basement or their guru's basement. What are you going to do? Be. Are you going to be Zach or are you going to be a Jordan? Which one are you going to be? It's up to you which one you want to be. Do you want to be rich or broke? It's ultimately up to you. Figure out what you want to do. Most people will fold under the pressure when it comes to cold calling, talking to sellers, getting rich, making the money, becoming successful. And some people thrive under the pressure. One thing I can tell you is there are two things that I found a lot, right? There are, let's talk about diamonds for a second, right? Um, there are Jordan diamonds. They're called zir zirconian, right? The, the fake ones, whatever that looks shiny and nice and big and fat. And then there's like real carbon cut diamonds, in Africa, you know, right? 
all this stuff, right? The thing is, people love their little fake diamonds and stuff, and the people have the real ones, right? You can take a di diamond tester and all that stuff, right? But like, how do you actually tell for real if you have a real diamond or a fake uh, zirconian or whatever they're called, right? You put them under pressure. The thing is, when you put a fake fat looking diamond under pressure, it breaks in five seconds because it's not a real diamond. It, it breaks. It looks sexy and great, but it breaks when put under the pressure of society, of life, of everything, right? When you put a real diamond under pressure, it does not break. It's one of the hardest things, elements in the world. You know why? Because to form a diamond, it has to be a piece of carbon that is thousands of feet in the molten lava under so much pressure, so much force that once it goes through all that, it's basically unbreakable. You can cut it, it makes it look shiny. It looks beautiful. It's great. And the moral of the story is when you get put under that pressure, you've gone through so much adversity, so much struggle that you're basically unbreakable where any little Jordan comment will not touch you or phase you because that's a broke person. The truth is either you fold under the pressure or you stay hard as a rock and get more successful. It's up to you what you do, fold under the pressure or thrive with it. If you want to learn what to do, I have a free Olsen course called freeolsen.com. This course is better than ever now. The reason is because YouTube has updated the privacy policies where if I share with you how to pull government lists, probates, pre-foreclosures, fire damage properties, the tax delinquencies, right? Water shutoffs, bail bondsman lists, like all these things, right? If I did a screen share right now of how you pull it in Gastonia, North Carolina, unfortunately, and this is a big issue that I have personally seen, unfortunately, you will get a privacy policy ban and a strike on your YouTube channel. It's crazy. It's true though. And so I cannot share these things on YouTube anymore, which I used to do. I had to put them on a private server on freelancing.com, which I pay tens of thousands of dollars a month because I have hundreds of thousands of people accessing it. That's terabytes of data that I have to pay for, which is insane how much it costs. It's crazy, but I have to do it. And I give it to you guys for free, not because I get these stupid stinking hate comments, but I do it because the successful people that get it, it's worth its weight in gold. And what, if it costs me, you know, cost me five figures every single month, I'll, I'll easily recoup that with one wholesale deal from a JV or something. So it's, it, it's worth it for me as a business decision, right? But I don't spend all this money for you to sit on your butt and not use it. It's there. It's a gift for me. No wholesaling guru is going to do this. Do you want to know the real reason why there's no free, free wholesaling course on the internet outside of freewholesaling.com that has the hundreds and hundreds of hours of videos of instruction that I have at 4K resolution, all these things? You want to know, you, you, let, let's get real here. You know, you know the real reason? These gurus are so broke. They can't afford... Let's, let's be cheap. Let's say they did like... Let's say, the, let's say they had only 100 hours of 4K video. And let's say they had 20,000 people a month reaching out to it. They couldn't fit the bill of 10K a month of the server costs for that website. They are so broke, they can't afford that. Think about that for a second. They refuse to do it. And so with the YouTube privacy policy now where I can't show you half the stuff I want to show you, it's in more of a necessity than me. It's more of a necessity for me than ever to start doing this stuff. But the truth is no other human being in the entire world, which is really sad, is willing to do what I'm willing to do here because th they're all broke. And so when I say you're the last hope in your family, I feel like I'm the last hope for wholesaling real estate to a point where if you have no money, where else are you going to go to? Guys, you got to work hard. I watched one wholesaling guru um, live stream the other day, and they basically told you, if you're not willing to pour six grand a month in marketing, you're you're never going to become successful, which is the, the largest load of horse poop I've ever seen in my life. And of course, they had a little affiliate link where they get half the thing, for six grand a month for this agency, right? It's just it's all a game of smoke and mirrors. It's all to take money from you. It's all to gaslight you to think you have to spend six grand a month to become successful. And if you don't have six grand a month, you are a broke person that's not worth a, a dime. And so, no, you are worth it. Your family knows you're worth it and you need to make the change. Get rich or die trying. That's the goal here. Go to freelancing.com, learn how to do it, get rich, get successful or not. That's all you can do.